Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, welcome to our presentation We are from group 7 of chemistry 20 and 22 state university of Jakarta As you all can see on the screen, our topic is about basic science level and experiment First of all, let us introduce ourselves My name is Nindis Aprilia My name is Norma Nurul Elmi Physical and chemical reactions are two important changes of stats in reactions. They have often used terms in science. And before we go to the next slide, we have to understand the differences between physical reaction and chemical reactions. Chemical reaction results in the formation of a completely new substance. Chemical reaction is irreversible. And physical reaction results in the reorganization of the original molecule. Physical reaction is irreversible. Chemical change. A chemical reaction forms new product, such as combustion, rotting, rusting, and digestion. Physical change. Matter changes from but not chemical identity, such as melting, shredding, boiling, and chopping. Next, we have density. Density is a measurement of the mass per unit volume of an object. The higher the density of an object, the greater the mass of each volume. Oil is less dense and water is more dense. That means, for the same volume, the water has more mass or weight than oil. Since oil is less dense, that's why oil floats on top of water. For addition, Density of water is 997 kg per cubic meter, density of oil is 950 kg per cubic meter, and density of acetic acid is 1.05 g per cubic centimeter. The formula of density defined as mass per volume. Polarity is a state or a condition of an atom or a molecule having positive and also negative charges. The polarity of a bond arises from the relative electronegativities of the elements. Acetic acid is a polar molecule because the oxygen present in the molecule is more electronegative, which causes the partial positive and partial negative charge to appear on the molecule. These partial positive and partial negative charges are responsible to make the entire CH3COOH molecule polar. Water is a substance composed of the chemical elements hydrogen and oxygen and existing in gases, liquid, and solid states. Water is a polar molecule because first, it has a band geometry that places the positively charged hydrogen atoms on one side of the molecule and the negatively charged oxygen atom on the other side of the molecule. Second, the oxygen atom still has two lone pairs of electrons after it bonds with hydrogen. These electrons repel each other, bending the hydrogen bond away from the linear angle. CDR as an effervescent tablet contains a carbonate as a calcium carbonate with 625 mg mass and a 1000 mg solid acid as an ascorbic acid as a vitamin C. Calcium deredoxin Ascorbic acid is a natural water soluble vitamin or vitamin C. Calcium carbonate is the carbonic salt of calcium. It has a role as an antacid, a food coloring, a food farming agent, and a fertilizer. Effervescent tablet formulation generally include first, an agent that's capable of releasing carbon dioxide, such as sodium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate, or calcium carbonate. Second, an agent that induce releases of carbon dioxide, such as adipic acid, malic acid, tartaric acid, ascorbic acid, fumaric acid, malic acid, succinic acid, or citric acid. Effervescent tablets are formulated by mixing these agents along with binders, diluents, and lubricants, and then compressing them into tablets. In contact with water, those agents react with one another, forming water and carbon dioxide, showing their disintegration. Effervescent tablet contain aspirin, 
They dissolve in water to form a sparkling lemon testing solution which is absorbed quickly into the bloodstream. Aspirin is prepared by chemical synthesis from salicylic acid through acetylation with acetic anhydride. The molecular weight of aspirin is 180.16 grams per mole. It is odorless, colorless to white crystals or crystalline powder. The tools and materials we're using are effervescent tablets, SCDR, oil, water, colorless bottle, and food coloring. So this is a chemical reaction between the ingredients in effervescent tablet inside the water. One molecule of calcium carbonate and two molecules of ascorbic acid that contain in effervescent tablets and react with water will produce one molecule of calcium ascorbate, water, and carbon dioxide gas. Reaction CDR and Water CDR tablets are made from aspirin, ascorbic acid, and calcium carbonate. When calcium carbonate dissolves in water, it reacts with hydrogen ions from the ascorbic acid and forms carbon dioxide. Because carbon dioxide is a gas, it forms bubbles inside the water that will pop up when it goes to the surface. The generation of carbon dioxide is a result of the chemical reaction that occurs between a carbonate and a weak organic acid. This gas is what forms the bubbles when the tablet dissolves. Within a couple of minutes, the tablets completely dissolve and the tablet becomes available in solution. This is the explanation why water and oil can't mix. As you can see in the previous video, the water and oil is separated where the water is below the bottle and the oil is above the water. This is because the difference on their density. Why don't oil and water mix? First, water molecules are packed more densely. And, as polar molecules only dissolve in polar solvents and non-polar molecules only dissolve in non-polar solvents, oil and water don't mix. The bubbles that move upwards are bubbles that contain carbon dioxide gas, which carries colored water. Meanwhile, the bubbles that move downwards are bubbles that contain colored water which remain after the gas escapes. Experiment results Oil is less dense than water. The lava lamps have an oil layer sitting on top of a water layer. We want our water to bubble up into the oil layer. To do this, we are using an acid-based reaction to produce a gas, 
or carbon dioxide. The gas is less dense than the water and oil. The gas bubbles will rise into the oil layer and take some of the colored water with them. Once the gas rises all the way to the top of the oil, it will exit the oil layer leaving the colored water behind. The colored water is more dense than the oil, so it will sink to the bottom. In order to ascorbic acid and calcium carbonate to react, they must be dissolved in water. Dissolving breaks the two chemicals into their positive and negative ions. Conclusions Lava lamp is a kind of decorative lamp. The effect that shows in this lava lamp experiment is almost the same as lava lamps that utilize heat sources. The smaller pieces of the tablet, the faster it freezes because the smaller pieces have more surface area to react with water. Since the water can reach more of the tablet immediately, the reaction happens faster. Oil and water can't mix because oil is non-polar compound and water is a polar compound. Based on our experiment, there are strengths and weaknesses. The strengths are, this experiment uses simple material and easy to do, as a proof that water and oil can't mix and density of water is more dense than oil. The weakness is, this experiment can only be used temporarily because the longer the reaction occurs, the fewer bubble produced. Suggestion for better experiment In order to see the effect of lava lamp with more beautiful results, use a flashlight around the lava lamp, and use a funnel to pour water and oil into the bottle to make it more neat. Thank you for your listening. May all those we have shared be beneficial for all of us. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.